Hi FlossTube, I'm Pam, welcome to my channel. This is FlossTube number 13, yay, lucky 13. Um, today is Monday, October 19th, it's about 2 p.m. I'm gonna try to get through this video as quickly as possible because I am supposed to pick up my groceries today around three o'clock. Um, it's my first time doing grocery store pickup instead of grocery store shopping. Um, and so I'd like to get there at the beginning of my time versus, I don't know, anyway, it's an, I, I get a little anxiety when I try something new. So I'm gonna try to get there in, at the beginning of my window to pick up versus the end. So I'm gonna, the whole point of that is to say, I, I, I might talk fast. Um, anyway, this is a channel about cross-stitching in which I talk about things that I'm stitching at the moment, things that I finished, things that I've purchased. There might be a little bit of that this video. Um, I went a little overboard this month. Um, and uh, sometimes we talk a little life updates. I'm not very heavy on life updates, but I mean, I tend to go off on some side tangent stories that maybe have nothing to do with cross stitching, but my brain makes a connection anyway, you'll see. So, um, a few things before we get started. Um, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner from last video right off the bat. I was doing a giveaway for either um, a PDF or a print chart of one of Stitch and Mommy's um, temperature charts. This is just an example. This is the one I'm doing in 2021, but it's not the one you have to pick. She's got, I don't know, maybe four or five on her, um, on her Etsy shop. Um, and all you had to do to enter that in my last video was to give me a hashtag suggestion for what we're going to call our temperature cell for next year. Um, and I had some great, uh, some great suggestions. Wow. I blanked there. Some great suggestions. Um, I haven't decided yet which hashtag I'm going to pick. Um, but I did choose a winner. So it was totally random. I had nine people enter and I put um, the numbers one through nine in the random number um, generator on, I don't know, I entered it into the Googles. And um, I came up with Margaret Hay. Yay, Margaret Hay. Um, so Margaret, all you need to do is uh, reach out to me either through email or if you're on Instagram, that's the fastest way to reach me. Um, my email is below in the um, description box. And you need to let me know, um, A, which chart you want from Stitch and Mommy's Etsy shop and whether you want that in PDF. And if so, send me your email. And if you want a print chart, let me know where you want to send. Um, so yay, Margaret. So that was a lot of fun. I'm super excited um, about the temperature chart. I've been pulling together my um, floss and trying to make a fabric decision so that I can start stitching on the tree um, in December. So it's all ready for January 1st. Um, what else? I have notes again. Um, oh, I had gotten some fun little mail. This is totally not stitchy related, but I wanted to share it with you all because I know there are quite a lot of Hocus Pocus fans out there in floss tube land. Um, I got a little card in the mail from my mom and my dad and my sister, but you know it was my mom who bought the card. Um, it's so cute. It says, I put a spell on you, and then you open it up, ah, and it's the Sanderson sisters. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I can't even, oh, I love this. And then you pull out the little card, and that's where, that's where the notes are, and I got, I got a little art down there. My mom drew me some, some ghosties and pumpkins. Oh my gosh. Is it seriously the cutest thing? I've got that sitting out on my counter. This made me so happy. Love that. We are Hocus Pocus fans in my family. Um, I can't wait for Halloween. We're totally going to be watching that. I don't think we're going to be putting candy out for Turk or Treaters this year. Um, so I think we'll be holed up down in our basement TV room watching all the Halloween movies and not the scary ones because I don't do scary or blood and gore. There's no Jason or Freddy. They're Sanderson sisters. That's about as scary Halloween as we get, or maybe some Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, okay, moving on. <laughs> I feel very disconnected today. Not, not really good segues. Um, I did want to do a shout out for Bees and Tees Stitching. Um, she is trying super hard to get her um, subscriber numbers up. So if you could, um, if you're in the, in the, what's the word I want? 
in the market for some new floss tube content. Um, and you haven't checked out Bees and Teas, Tina over there is so nice. She stitches completely different things from me, which I love to watch people who don't stitch the same things as me because that would be boring. Um, so anyway, hop on over there, check her out. She's awesome. Um, all right, so that brings us to, oh my gosh, you guys, FFOs. FFO in Floss Tube Land stands for Fully Finished Object. So I had a goal to finish, I think, five of my um, Back of the Closet hanger collection where things that I finish go to never be seen again. So I decided no more of that. We're going to finish some things. So I took out all my fall and Halloween things that needed to be finished. And then one thing that was um, not fall, uh, but it was relevant to this year. So I wanted to get it finished up. Um, and so I finished four. So I just have one left to finish. Um, and the only reason it hasn't finished is there's a specific item that I need to purchase that I think it'll look good on. And I haven't had a chance to get out to the store. We've been a little bit on a quarantine, not a little bit. We had to quarantine. We came in contact with um, some, some folks that tested positive for COVID. So our house had been um, quarantining, which, not a whole lot of fun, which means I didn't get out to the store to get the thing I needed. Anyway, let's see the FFOs. First up, now you know that the name of this channel is Stitching in the Land of Good Enough, and there's a reason for that because good enough, it's so cute. It's so cute. I don't know whether I want to look at it in the camera or look at you guys. I, it's adorable. I don't, I think this is called Thanksgiving medley. And I want to say it was, shoot, I should have pulled the chart out. I want to say it was the trilogy. Um, but I could be wrong. It could be heart and hand. I don't think, I think it's the trilogy who put this out. Um, I'll put, I'll put it down in the description box. So we know for sure. Um, super cute. You almost, I can't get this in, the, eh, it's too tall. Um, so I got this wooden thing at my thrift store at church for a dollar and it was this color and it had like dowels that three dowels that poked out of it. I think you're supposed to like hang things on it. So I had my husband rip those out and then I painted it with spray paint and I didn't do a good job. Like there's, I don't know if you can see them. There's like bubbles and whatever. I don't care. It's going to come out and hang on my wall for like two months of the year. And I think it's perfect. But you guys, look, look at how wonky that is. That is, that is not a straight line, folks. So, but you know what? It's good enough and it's hanging on my wall and it's not hanging in the back of my closet anymore. So super excited about that. And then I finished this one. I don't think is quite done yet. Um, but I don't know when it is going to get done. So I thought I'd show you it in progress. I've got it hanging on my wall now, even though it's not 100% done. Um, this is Suffragette. I think ultimately I'd like this in a frame, but I wanted to get this on the wall before voting day. So um, I got this at Hobby Lobby and I put, this is, um, I don't know, that paper you get over in like the scrapbooking section. And I got two, uh, two squares of it and I cut it and glued it on. And then I just kind of like flat finished Suffragette and she's a little wonky too. She's not straight or perfect. Um, and I don't care what I think I'd like to do though. I want to take these, this off. I didn't think to paint these. I don't like them. I want, I think I want to replace them with a red ribbon. I think I'm going to do that. And I think it'll be easy. They, they're just, they're just tied, it's just tied in there. I can snip them off and I think thread a new ribbon through and that'll be pretty. And I wasn't sure if I didn't want to put some sort of like Americana patriotic vintage stickers on either side. I'm not sure yet. I don't know if it needs something there or not. But anyway, it's hanging on the wall and I love it. So happy about that. I'm gonna make a big mess of my stuff. Um. Okay, that's good. Thirdly, super cute, I love Hildy. So this is Hildy's Brew, sorry, my last one was um, Suffragette by Little House Needleworks. This is Hildy's Brew. 
by uh, Bendy Stitchy and super cute. And I can't remember if this was like a 50 cent frame from my thrift store or if I grabbed it out of my father-in-law's yard sale frame box um, a few weeks ago, which then it would have been free for me. Um, she's so cute. I just stuck her on some cardboard and glued her on there and stuck her, I'm not even putting it back on this. I'm just gonna hang it on a nail on my wall. Love that, love that. And then lastly, this is, this is the best one. I'm so excited about this one. So, this is, I'm gonna try to get this all in. Uh, it's a little, it's a little crooked, that's okay. Um, this is the, it was a four part series by Tiny Modernist. It was their Halloween one from 2018. 2000, no, 2019. Um, I think it was called like Sleepy Hollow. And I got this unfinished board and then I painted it this gorgeous teal color, which I picked because the border is that teal color. And it's the only place that teal is used in the pattern and I just, I love it. So excited. And I, so I pinned it. I don't know if you can see, let's see if we can get this up close. Can you see the little pins? So I pinned it. I hate lacing. So if I'm not going to glue it, it's probably going to be pinned. Lacing hurts my brain. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. This one came out really nice. It's not wonky, it's a little wonky on the board, but that's okay. I love the color. I almost don't want it to go away when Halloween is over. So, oh yeah, that's my proudest finish to date. Really, really excited about that. Whew, I need a little bit of a water break. All that excitement made me thirsty. I probably should be keeping an eye on the clock, but I can't see the clock that far away. Okay, anyway. So those were my FFOs. And then I told you I would be light on whips this month because I'm pushing for a finish for coming to America. Um, so I only have three whips. First is my Granny Square Temperature Sal that I'm doing this year by Carolyn Manning Designs. And I am all caught up. I mean, I haven't done today, but I've stitched everything else. And that's where I'm at. You can see down there at the bottom, we are definitely outside of the hot weather now. We are into the 60s and 70s. I think I even had one day, this one, that was below 60. I had my first day below 60 in October. So it's looking good. So we've been moving along with that. And then I stitched on part three of Frankenstein came out and I am stitching this on 16 count fog by picture this plus. And this is where I'm at. So part three was this and in the middle. So I actually haven't finished the middle yet. Um, actually, now that I'm looking on it, at it, because there's things that go in the corners and I'm thinking of, of beating them. So that's why that's not done yet. And again, I haven't done any of the back stitching. Um, and I know in the past, I've talked to you about whether I was going to do the etoile or not. And I did, I know you're not gonna be able to see it sparkle, but it does, I promise. I did end up doing the lightning bolt in the etoile and I did Anyway, as you can see, I decided to do the etoile. And here's why, the decision got taken out of my hands. I've run out of Raven. It's gone, I don't have any more skeins left. I have used it all up. Um, you definitely, if you're going to stitch this in a 28 or a 32 count, or you know, or 14 or 16, um, you need four skeins. You don't, three is not gonna be enough. You definitely need four. So I think, what I'm gonna do, I believe there's gonna be a part four and it's gonna fill in this outer border. Um, 
and I'm going to do it in the etoile. So I'm going to do the etoile in on the four corners where I have back stitching. And then um, I'm going to do whatever comes in here is going to be in, in the etoile. And I'm going to do beading in the four corners. So yeah, you know, sometimes having the decision just get taken out of your hands makes it easier. I don't want to have to try to find a fourth skein of the Raven in the right color a lot. And um, so yeah, we're just going to make it sparkly and silvery and that's okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. And I am using, which I, I'm using the C318. So I use Gentle Arts Raven and C318, which is like a gray sparkly. You can see it sparkle here. I don't know why you can't see it sparkle on camera when it's stitched up. It's so bizarre because you can see it sparkle in person. So strange. And then lastly, in my Mayflower ship bag by, who the heck did this? I never remember. Oh, it's right there, Dot Dot Goose. Dot Dot Goose Design Project Bag. I am stitching um, the Women of the Mayflower uh, by, with thy needle and thread. I can never remember that. Um, my goal for this month was to finish the second page, which brings you to right here. And I met that goal yesterday. So I am ahead of the game still. Oops. And I am stitching this on 40 count vintage country mocha and all the called for floss. Um, I have not finished, I haven't done any of the back stitching. So there's no flag pulls or rigging or pigtails or anything like that. So this is, this is where I am. Uh, I feel this is a little bit like do, 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 do. Doesn't it feel a little bit Star Wars-y there? Um, so, yep, I got all the names done and I'm starting on the little waves that go right here. And then it, we're just, we're, we're at the finish line. We are at the finish line, guys. <sighs> I am so tired of stitching these muted colors. I can't wait to stitch something bright. This was the most monogamous I have been in over a year. Three things in the past 19 days. Actually, it's been longer than that, just the three. I didn't even remember to get out my Halloween stitching. I like to do, I mean, wow, brain stopped working. Dark 13 stitching on the 13th of every month, except I don't really do dark stitching. I just do, I, call, I Halloween stitching happens on the 13th of every month. And um, I forgot, I was so focused on this Mayflower, so. That's where I am there. Where are we at for time? I am making good time. Whew, okay. Although I haven't gotten to the haul yet. We, I, I did some shopping. I did some shopping. Um, okay, let's, let's talk about, talk about the things I purchased. I can't, I don't think you saw this. I think this came in after, um, after my last video. I apologize if I showed it last time. I don't think I did. Um, this is the Tree of Magic by Barbara Anna Designs that you can get from Nitka Moscow. Um, there's not a great picture of, oops, there's not a great picture of it, pic picture, that, I'm not saying that right. Um, anyway, you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. And I, there's a lot of people stitching this now, so you may have seen more of it than this. Um, and it comes with the floss you need. Oh my gosh. So th guys, this is going to be my birthday start at the end of next month. And it, I can't wait to start stitching with these colors. They're going to be such an, a nice different, such an uplifting, bright color fantasticness after all of that, like those browns and soft blues and pinks from the Mayflower piece. And then the chart is all rolled up in there and there's even, there's another chart in there, which I can't show you because I think it's just the chart, but there was a little bonus chart in here too. And it's adorable. And, um, it's in Russian. So that was fun. 
what you have to do to get these from Nitka Moscow is you have to message them and then send them your, um, I messaged them through Instagram, but I, they must have an email too. I'm not sure. And then you send them your PayPal address and they invoice you. Um, here's a, just a, a side note on that. My PayPal was a business PayPal. Um, and I wasn't able to, they couldn't send me their invoice um, or they sent it to me. I couldn't pay the invoice. PayPal wouldn't let me because of, I think it has to do with like sanctions with Russia. Um, so you, if you have a personal PayPal, no problems. You can absolutely PayPal them. You can pay their invoice and it works out fine. And they send you the things, which actually came much faster than I thought it would. Um, so I had have a stitchy friend use her PayPal for me, which was so kind of her. Um, I don't want to say who it was in case she doesn't want anyone to know, but I truly appreciated it. So I am in the process of getting a personal PayPal because there's a Christmas one coming out, a Christmas kit from uh, Nick in Moscow, which is just fantastic. Um, and I'm going to need it. So yeah. Um, so it was kind of an adventure in itself, just just being able to purchase that kit. And I can't wait, can't wait to start it for my birthday. Then there were sales this month. Uh, Trish from Threads and Twine did a 40% off sale. Um, I have not received that one yet. Um, I expect it actually to, later today. Um, so I might show it tomorrow and we'll talk about that in plans. I We'll talk about that in plans anyway. Um, and then keepsakes did these super fun, um, live sales. So if you are, if you are not on Instagram, you need to get on Instagram because that is where all the cross stitching fun is happening. Um, they did a live video on Instagram in which they had charts, um, that were 20% off. And then one of the days they had charts that were 60% off. I don't remember what sale I got for which chart, but I got some charts. Um, the first one being a coffee bean sampler um, by Heartstring Samplery. So really excited about this. The only thing is I'm not a big fan. It says B Twist down here for Beth Twist, who is the genius behind Heartstring Samplery. I'm thinking of leaving this out and pushing all this up because I don't know how to rechart. Like, I don't know, I don't know what I'd put in there because there's a, like I'm gonna put my name here where she has her name. So I don't know what I'd put here. So I might take that out when I stitch it and move the whole thing up. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I got an itchy nose. Um, and then I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about this. Um, this is Stacy Nash, Stacey Nash Primitives, part of her Animal Cracker series. And it's Percy, oh my gosh, I love slugs and I love snails and I need to stitch this. The finishing might be beyond me. This might be one I have to send out to a finisher, but I'm so excited about that. And then I got uh, Manny De Donna American Revolutionary Flags. Oh my gosh. This might be my summer start for next year. Super cute, love that. Th this is adorable. This is called Bluebirds, Berries, and Bees by Needle Bling Designs, the Blackberry Rabbit. I don't know this designer at all. It says the Blackberry Rabbit in Needle Bling Designs. Anyway, oh my gosh, look, the bird and the bee, super cute. I love that little bird. It's adorable, adorable. And then lastly, everyone's seen this. This was on my wish list. Mary Mary Needleworker, Lindy Stitches. Love, love, love this. I don't know if I'm gonna stitch it in this way or in that way, but I will be stitching it. Okay, and then, super excited about this. I got Black Needle Society's Trick or Treat Halloween Countdown Box. So it starts today. There's 13 gifts in it. Um, you might be wondering what happened to my box. So it came on Friday, it came on a wicked rainy day. 
um, like serious rain was happening. It sat out on my step. The box got very damp. It appears that my little prize, my little presents inside are fine, but the box was wet. And then I had a spider situation where happily doing our our homeschooling at the the in the living room at the coffee table and a few weeks ago there was a little spider on the coffee table and that's fine little spiders are fine every everybody deserves to live and I don't mind a spider in the house cuz they eat things that I that I don't want in my house so um but he was one of those like the ones that they're black and they're kind of meaty if you know what I mean, but they're small, but they're fast and they like look at you and I, and they're, they make me really uncomfortable, <laughs> but he was little and then he kind of disappeared and went off and he did his thing. Well, that was a few weeks ago, late last week. So this must've come on a Thursday. Cause I think it was Friday. We had the spider situation. Um, he was back and he was bigger. And he was in, at my coffee table. I, I can't imagine I have enough of those spiders in my house that they all are attracted to my coffee table. It had to have been the same one. And it was the same one, a little more grown up. And I couldn't, I couldn't focus now anymore. So I ripped off, I ripped off the side of the box because I needed something thick and sturdy to put under the cup so I could throw the entire thing out my back porch. The cup the cardboard, the spider all went out the door. And then later when I was pretty sure that the spider was no longer on those things, I brought them back in the house. So this was like my spider saver, save me from the spiders. Anyway, so you open a gift today and then you open one every day up until Halloween. And that's when you open your last gift. And I'm really excited and super fun packed up super cute super cute this is the first box i've ever done like this i'm really excited so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna get on for a fast little three to five minute video every day and show you um show you my little surprise presents so the first one super pretty purple package is sorry for all the crinkles oh that's fun that's so fun. It's a little needle minder. I'm gonna get that up close, cover my face, hope it focuses, focus, it's not going to. It says, the, oh, it's a little tarot card. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Nice and lightweight in wood, super cute. That was fun, what does it say about it in its little thing? Um, it's a tarot card inspired needle minder uh made by the black needle society and it looks like there is stitching in my future that might be true okay so i am going to get on tomorrow yes hmm yes yes i'm wow i'm gonna get on tomorrow and we'll do day number two tomorrow i don't know where day number two is right now oh my gosh i can't i'm so excited about this all right anyway I'm going to get that out of the way. We are almost done, guys. If you have stuck with me through this crazy, fast-talking rambling, thank you. Um, I'm going to do another giveaway because I'm having fun with that. Um, I haven't gotten the last giveaway mailed because we had that, that little quarantine situation. Um, but so last, last, um, the last physical giveaway I had still has to get mailed. So, Sherry, if you're looking for it, it's coming. I promise. Um Margaret Hay, don't forget to reach out to me and let me know which chart you want and how what format you want it in. And then this is what we're going to give away this week. So this is going to be a little um, past the stash. I have already stitched this. I don't have it in my possession anymore, so it must have been a gift. And I don't know where it's gone. Anyway, this is Bent Creek Bats. That's what it's called. It was a zipper kit. I don't have the kit anymore. Um, so it's just the chart. And if you are interested in stitching this, just let me know what your favorite Halloween candy is. I am going to, um, I'll look for the word Halloween, but 
let me know what your favorite Halloween candy is and you will be entered. Because I'm gonna be getting on every day, um, let's pick an ending. Let's do Halloween is the day that I'm gonna draw the winner for this. So you have all the way to Halloween to put your entries in. All right, that's it for me. Um, don't forget to check out B's and T's Stitching. Um, I will have a an ex more extensive description box, I think, than I have in the past. So I'll put all the info for the FFOs because I didn't have that stuff in front of me. Um, all right, that's it, guys. Stay well. Bye.